Hey everybody, I want to welcome you to another episode of our Knowledge Basics. My name is Bruce and today we're going to be talking captive screws. So what exactly is a captive screw? Well, captive screw is a real generic term for a lot of different types of connectors. So I don't want you to get hung up on the fact that we have some weird looking uh, quarter inch connector today. That's not the important part. The important part is this side, and this is our termination side of this adapter. This is called captive screw. You're also probably gonna hear the term Phoenix connector. It's a real common uh, term in uh, maybe even a Euro connector, you might hear that. But what does captive screw actually mean? Well, it means that there is a screw that is going to capture your wire. Pretty simple, right? Today, we're applying the knowledge of captive screws to a bunch of different types of connectors. Some basics still apply. To do this, you're gonna need some sort of tweaker, and so I've got this small uh, screwdriver here. I'm gonna need my trusty old wire strippers. I've got some test wire today, and then I'm always gonna need my heat gun nearby. But Bruce, we're just doing a captive screw. Why do we need a heat gun? Well, because we are professionals and we use labels and we use heat shrink to make stuff look professional. So we're gonna jump right in. This is an audio cable that goes with our audio connector. Once again, not the important part. The important part is the captive screw here. But I'm gonna strip back my, uh, my audio cable real quick. And let's see if I can get a nice little score on that. So I'm gonna pop that out there. Not cutting too deep. I'm gonna pull back my drain. I'm gonna pull back my Kevlar. I've got foil in here, which is a part of my shield. Don't need that stuff. So I'm gonna pull that all to the side. And oh, my foil broke off, perfect. Cut my Kevlar. All right, now, one thing you're gonna notice here is that I made these leads like crazy long today. Eh, no big deal, right? I can just kind of get them to the length that I want them. And I'm gonna take my drain, stretch it around, I'm gonna get these guys to the length that I want them. I'm gonna cut off the excess. Man, my wire strippers are getting dull. I'm gonna have to get some new ones. All right, so perfect. So I got these the length that I want them. Now I'm gonna put on my label, my uh, heat shrink for my label. I'm gonna save that for later. And then I'm gonna put on my heat shrink to cover up. Look how ugly that is. I mean, that's just disgusting. Come on guys, we're professionals. Well, this is how professionals cover up their ugliness is they put a little bit of heat, piece of heat shrink over that point right there. Now, if I take my heat gun. And I've turned that little piece of ugliness into something beautiful that we can all be proud of. Okay, so let's get to the important part. We're gonna strip our uh, cable down and once we do that, we don't want these to be too terribly long. We're gonna make them just long enough. Once again, this isn't really about stripping wire or anything. This is about our captive screw. Now, most of the time, these things come closed. So if you can get a close up of that right there, you can see, maybe tell or not, that those openings are actually closed right now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open them up and I'm gonna show you the difference of what the effect. I've got two open and one closed right now. You can kind of see the difference of what it looks like when it's open versus closed. So I'm gonna open all those up and I'm gonna put my leads inside. Now here's a little bit of nerd tip for you. When you're working with captive screws, you're supposed to use stranded wire. Why? Because stranded wire doesn't break. If we were dealing with solid wire, solid wire, when it wiggles back and forth, it breaks pretty easily. And in captive screw, sometimes that can you know, be the case where it, uh, it pops off. So you're supposed to use stranded wire. We're gonna take our stranded wire and we're gonna slide it in here. Once again, this is not about this specific connector. It's about captive screws. So I'm not talking through how I know where it's in the right spot and all that stuff. But I'm gonna tighten these down and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little tug test and we're gonna make sure that our leads are 
in there tight enough. And I'm actually not gonna tighten one all the way so I can kind of show you what happens, okay? So I've got the tip of my screwdriver and I'm gonna just kind of tug on that real quick and make sure, yep, that one's in. I'm gonna do this one right here and tug it on it. Yep, that one's in. I'm gonna do this one right here. And if I tug hard enough, it pops out, okay? That's because I didn't tighten that very tight. Well, you don't wanna like go the Incredible Hulk on the thing. I mean, come on. But you do wanna make sure that your connection is nice and tight because you don't want it to accidentally ever pop out. So the way that I'm gonna know that it's nice and tight is I'm going to tighten it. If you see, I'm kind of like barely with just two, my thumb and my finger, I'm barely spinning it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nice little quarter turn with my actual strength of my hand. And then I know, okay, that captive screw is tight on that connection. And now, if I tug on each one of these, they're not gonna pop out. Make sure you do that little quarter turn. It's the difference between having a good connection and being frustrated because you can't figure out what's wrong and because something's popped out and now it doesn't work anymore. That's really the secret behind Captive Screw. I know you're like, wow, Bruce, that was a simple video. Well, not everything we do is rocket science, right? But that's Captive Screws. And you can apply that knowledge to a lot of different types of connectors. They're often green, sometimes they're blue. Every once in a while, they're yellow, gray. We don't get any fun colors. But you know, it's all there. Make sure it's nice and tight. And uh, yeah, guys, that's captive screws. If you feel like you learned something, if you thought that was mildly entertaining, then please feel free to subscribe, like, watch another video, give us a comment, let us know how we're doing. And more importantly, join us next time on another episode of Knowledge Basics.